Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Gamma K TK75 mechanical keyboard. Hey guys, my name is Khaled and welcome back to another video. So today we're looking at the Gamma K TK75 mechanical keyboard. Okay, so as the name suggests, TK75, 75% size of a standard keyboard. We also have four color RGB, hot swappable keyboard back case so you can change the keys in less than 10 seconds we have a knob on the keyboard itself where you can increase and decrease volume multi-function driver software separate keypad all the good stuff so what we'll do now is quickly get into it and see what this is about i have actually never owned a mechanical keyboard i've used them in people's houses gave it a quick demo but never owned one for myself i've used the likes of corsair k55 your logitech keyboards your normal Microsoft ones where you can get in a package and the Apple keyboard. We also get this switch included. Now this does have more of a clicky and tactile feedback. This will be demonstrated slightly later on in the video so stay tuned. And here we have the keyboard itself. But before we have a look at the main keyboard, let's look at the different accessories included. We have this handy leaflet that shows you keyboard lighting settings. We also have different function key combinations for Windows, Mac and both operating systems. And we have Bluetooth mode, USB 2.4 gigahertz mode and a wired connection mode. So what else do we get? Okay, we get a lot of accessories with this kit as well, which is quite nice to have. First of all, we have the two in one keycap remover and then the switch removal tool as well. Next, we have five different keys included, the home, page down, page up, and the other two in there, delete and insert as well. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable. Now this is used for both wired mode and for charging your keyboard as well. But let's quickly look at the big bad boy itself. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Just a quick shameless plug. If you want to see more short form content, more reels, more behind the scenes, then do remember to follow me on Instagram at Carlos Tech. And here we have the keyboard. So this is the Gamma K TK75, 75% of a normal keyboard size. It does not have the number pad as you can see. And on first impressions, I actually really like the look of this keyboard. It has an Apple-esque and retro style look to it. So you can see we have the different color. Majority of the keys are white, but you have that gray accent, that blue teal accent, and the black accent for the arrow keys with the different colors and arrow. Now that is pretty reassuring, right? I'm pretty sure you do like the sound of that as well. It has full RGB lighting. Now, apologies, you probably can't see it properly from this because I do have studio lighting on. But believe me, it does look pretty darn nice at night time. I'll be posting a reel on Instagram showcasing the RGB lighting at night time. So make sure you follow me at Carlos Tech to check that out. So far, what are your views on the color scheme? Now, I actually love it as previously mentioned. But let me know what you think in the comments below and how you would change it. So this is the tool we get for removing the keycaps. It inserts in latches at the bottom and you just have to use a bit of force to take that out and here we have the keys itself very well made now the bottom part is used to pry out the switches make sure you get right to the bottom of it pinch it and then pull it out and then you can see the switches there they're both very well made now the keys we just had in were the silent ones these are the slightly louder clicky switches which you will see so i'll demonstrate that slightly later on i also like the feel of the keycaps feels extremely nice and polished so have a listen for yourself if this product has caught your eye or you'd like to buy one for yourself then do check out the links in the description box below there are three different connection modes with this keyboard first being usb-c cable so this is the wide mode it doubles up as charging as well secondly you could use it as bluetooth and because it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery it will last you for a very long time and finally we have a small usb a 2.4 gigahertz dongle that can be used on your mac device and windows device now some people like to use the keyboard on an angle for ergonomic purposes so this has three options first just with a rubber grommet and then you have the kickstand which provides a further two different height options now, day to day, this keyboard actually feels very nice and easy to use. I've been using this keyboard for the past three days now and the learning curve is non-existent. You can see we have a nice amount of travel as well. Now, depending on the switches, the travel range from 3.2 millimeters to 3.3 and it's just a solid keyboard, feels very nice to type on 
and because of the silent keys you can ensure that no people are woken up during the middle of the night. Now this is a pretty heavy keyboard. Now I've moved over from a standard keyboard so I can't really say if it is heavy compared to other mechanical keyboards but I've heard in general they're quite heavy. But what makes up for it is the typing experience, how the keys feel and obviously the switches. You've got the silent switches included and then you have the red ones which I've shown earlier that gives it a more clicky and tactile feeling. So I'm really happy with this product. I'll be using it in my setup going forward as well. What do you think guys? Is this something you'd buy or what would you change about this keyboard? If you want to check out Gamma K, do check out the website. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. If you have any questions or would like to find out any further details or I have missed out anything, then do hit me up in the comment section below. Please consider supporting the channel by liking, subscribing and sharing the content. But if you just want to view, that's absolutely cool with me as well. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I wish you all the best. Stay safe. Peace.